Oh, yeah, what's up, my people? Welcome to Kick It With Joe, and we're not wasting any more time. Today, the Air Jordan 4 finally released here in South Africa, and this is what went down. This is at Rosebank Shelf Life and also Cape Town's uh, Shelf Life. And as you can see, the sneaker culture is very much alive. But is this enough to keep the sneaker culture alive in South Africa? Let's check this out. And then story number two, we talk Balenciaga. Balenciaga is still trolling the fashion industry. The fashion industry just needs to like excommunicate uh, Balenciaga because, ah, come on with this come on is this what we coming to come on and then we talk yeezys yeezys are dead or alive nobody knows but all we know is now you can get yeezys for cheap dirt cheap and that's what's going down so make sure to stay here because it's gonna be a good show so let's kick it and let's go so first things first Let's make sure to link up on the social media streets so we can always stay connected and in touch. Story number one, the Air Jordan 4 release here in South Africa has been very, very successful. When I say successful, I mean like all the sneaker heads came out. You know, we've seen lines again. We're seeing raffles again. And this makes me feel good because this makes me feel like, yeah, the sneaker culture, we're still alive. And if you know, if you've been in the sneaker culture, you know that it's been going through a slow period let's say yeah it's going through a slow period right now in the sneaker culture you know it's not like it's it's not 2017 you know 2017 was the golden ages of sneaker culture but right now it seems like things are picking up again especially with this jordan 4 uh military blue release this sneaker is dope like look at it it's clean it's clean it's on most amazing but it's clean it's a clean nice sneaker and as you can see most of you guys sneaker heads were feeling the sneaker but we have to talk about this kid right here that's going viral this kid is on one you know in the sneaker culture he's getting ready to fill up the sneaker for 8k huh from 6 to 8k aim to get the industrial blue jordan fours to resell what you trying to flip the shoes yeah and how much would you flip them for since they go for like 6k, I'll, I'll flip them for like 8k. Damn nigga, that's crazy. So this is the kind of sneaker heads that we need in the sneaker culture, you know? Or do we actually need sneaker heads like this, you know? That that take to resell and stuff like that. This is actually an interesting conversation. Should we actually uh, uh, be... Uh, 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 you know, promoting this kind of sneaker activity in the sneaker culture. Tell me what you think about that. And tell me what you think about the AJ4 military blue. Are you feeling them? Are you not feeling them? Come on, let's talk. Come on, put it down in the comments down below. And then, yes, we have story number two is the Balenciaga. I'm not going to stay too long on the story. Come on, look at this. Look at this. Are we still... Ugh, my people, my people, we need to stand together. All the sneaker heads, we need to come together, comrades. And we need to take a stand against Balenciaga releasing such sneakers. Yo, yo, yo. If I see you in the street with this, if I see you in the mall with this sneaker, ah... Uh, uh, I think we 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 gonna we gonna have to square off, you know. We gonna have to we gonna have to get down, you know, you know, because that is not that that's a blasphemy in the sneaker culture wearing that kind of sneaker. And shout out to Under Armour as well, joining up with Balenciaga on the collabo. And you can see most of these new sneakers look like they're going sock sneaker vibe, you know. So hey, I don't know how you take that, but that's what it is, hey, eh? that's what it is. Story number. Number three, Yeezys are going for sale. You know, you know, oh, come on. I, I never would have thought I'd, I'd, I'd see the day when Yeezys are going for sale. You know, you know, it's like, like yo, yo, can someone buy me a Yeezy? 
you know, especially with these sale drops. Can someone buy me a Yeezy? I need to get the, all the Yeezys that I can get before it's over. So if you didn't know, this is uh, what Adidas says is going to be the last Adidas drop ever. So it's going down. You're on the website, it's going down. All the Yeezys are there, but they're still going for full price though. But then when you go on social media, especially here in Dubai, there's this post going viral saying that all oh, these is a half yeah, price. Like, sure. yeah. yeah. I need this. This is my goat. This is this is my grill Yeezy that I want, and it's going for half price. And right now financially you know you know it's a little bit <laughs> you know <laughs> but hey, 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 hey but for everyone that wants yeezys and never could get yeezys this is the perfect time this is the perfect time to buy yeezys when yeezys are being basically thrown away you know i don't know how's the resale value gonna be for these yeezys we'll see on the secondary market like stock x gold court order especially in south africa court order i don't know are they gonna take the yeezys down because basically they being sell, sold for half price so we don't know what's gonna happen with that court order needs to let us know are they gonna be selling it half price shelf life needs to let us know are y'all gonna be selling it half price as well because we need these yeezys but we need them at half price <laughs> the way adidas intended it uh, to be but uh, being in the sneaker culture, you know that resale value always uh, is a little bit higher. But it can go down. Like, come on, guys. You can't let it go down. Let's get this easy, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, my people, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been an awesome episode. Make sure to subscribe down here for more uh, videos like this and other kind of cool videos that I just drop right here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, Peace, my people. I'm out. One.